Hey, hey, you guys, your girl B with Mika. Happy April. Happy birthday to all my Tauruses out there. April is my birthday month, so I'm wishing you guys a happy birthday in advance. And thank you for all the birthday wishes that are come because you guys always look out for me. Lots going on in April. We have two vlogs coming for the month of April. I have a secret giveaway, so definitely check out for your comments because you just never know. I have a ton of stuff that you guys do not want to see, but you guys know I love to do giveaways for my birthday month. Um, two vlogs. We are going out of town for my birthday. We're going to be safe. Um, but, uh, let's see what I said. Two vlogs. We're going to be safe for uh, one of the vlogs. One of the vlogs, I'll show you guys a week in my life. So I got some videos planned. I got a couple of foundation reviews coming up. Lots, lots going on for the month of April. So pray for me, you guys, that I actually survive in time to have a great birthday, which I am. Um, the family has started early for me, but let's go ahead and get started because I'm actually excited to do this video. I have used a ton of these products and I have some mini reviews for you guys really quick. So first off, let's start off with the foundation. This is the Physician Formula Healthy uh, Foundation. Shout out to Brit's Makeup Diary. Brit actually talked about this foundation. I'm in the shade Deep Heat in 3. They no longer sell this foundation. Now you guys, if you watch my last um, Shop My Stash for March, I had the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. I did finish that, so that's actually in my Shop My Stash uh, video. So with this one, I basically was like, yo, um, I'm going to just pull this out because I haven't used it. And I'm in love with it. I love the doe foot applicator on it. As you guys can see, it hasn't gave me any issues or anything. So I did message for it and I was like, yo, why did they discontinue this foundation? This is better than the Clinique foundation and I'll put it right here with Clinique foundation but yeah this is really good I have been loving this so I had to really um just pull this out so I'm gonna put this to the side now the foundation I am gonna replace this with is the LYS you guys have if you haven't already seen my full review in detail I want to just try this out for the month this is the first black owned beauty brand at Sephora and it's vegan uh shout out to Miss Thompson she commented in that video and um so she loved the look and everything but i want to give this a try for the month this has ha turmeric and an ingredient that i cannot spell if you're wondering i'm in the shade dn6 so this is gonna be my foundation for the month you guys the only real setting powder that i have been keeping hold of is hands down my laura mercier loose setting powder i am gonna get translucent and probably some other stuff oh by the way my sephora recommendations video will be up on by the time you guys see this video, I'll tell you, you guys, it has been a crazy week for me. So you guys will actually see this, the Sephora video, probably by Friday. So by, you guys will see this video first, then the Sephora video. All right, so that's that's that. We're good. Now let's talk about powders. So this Sephora Micro Suze setting powder. This is going to say Deep 60. The only issue that I have with this now is that it's not closing. So like the clip on here, it just stop closing so but other than that it's a good uh powder the bronzer you guys i finally finally started hitting pan like hella pan on this bobby brown bronzer like i'm i'm pretty much gonna be done with this by in the next few months if i keep at it so i'm gonna keep that in here now i'm actually gonna put this out this is the urban decay all nighter actually i didn't really touch this this month i put a little bit of it on but to be honest i like loose setting loose powders versus more of like a staple like a hard powder so i don't know i still like it it does what it does and it's crazy because i actually like the charlotte tilbury setting powder but this one i'm just like mm, i don't know it could have been my mood for the month so i'm replacing the bronzers with the lys again i pulled out all lys products so this is the lyet matte bronzer in the shade strength this is their darker shade so i'm gonna try that out i am still gonna keep the bobby no oh and I'm going to take off this Hula Toasted Bronzer. These are like staple products. Um, so I'm going to take Strength, put it in here, just so I can use it. Now, an alternative, if Strength does not do good for me, I'm going to keep the Bobbi Brown in here. Because y'all know I'm trying to really finish that up. Now, let's go on to a setting powder. So I'm going to still tr keep my Laura Mercier. That's just going to be a staple. But this is the LYS Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder in the shade Loyalty. This is their deep dark shade. So we're going to try that out. Also, you never know what may work. So that's the bronzers. And then this is the setting powder, which I should do. No, it's not going to work. 
So I'm just gonna do that like that. Let's see, lips still remain the same on Summer Fridays. Brows, I can take some of this stuff out. This is the Patrick Ta Brow um, Shaping Wax. I haven't been using it, so I could actually take it out. And then this is the ben the Anastasia Chocolate Duo Brow Powder. I bought this, but I started recently going to get my brows waxed again, and I just haven't been using that stuff. But for brows, let's talk about brow pencils and stuff. So I did finish up my NYX brow pencil. I love that pencil. That is a dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which by the way, Anastasia Brow Wiz will be on sale at Ulta during 21 Days of Beauty. I'll insert what date it is. So I plan to get two of those just so I can have on hand because I feel like you always gonna need a brow pencil. So I pulled out the Anastasia Brow Definer. Now the difference between the Brow Definer and the Brow Wiz is that the Brow Definer has more of an art shape too and the Brow Pencil is exactly what it is, a pencil. So I did finish that, so I'm putting that in here and then this is the Benefits 24 Hour Brow Setter. My girl K Zway got me addicted to this. I have no complaints. This is actually better than the Anastasia. So I will definitely recommend you purchase the full size. I'm not going to get it at this Sephora sale, but definitely in the fall. So I'm going to put take that out. I'm going to replace that with the Re Makeup Revolution uh, Brow Gel. I purchased this a while back, girl, but I pulled it out and I was like, you haven't even used it. So... I'm replacing that with that. Now, let's talk about mascaras. So, mascaras. This is the e.l.f. Lash It Out Loud Volumizing Mascara. This has hit and miss, but I love this. Like, I would hands down repurchase this over and over and over again. Remember when I told you guys about how brow uh, mascaras, they're, you gotta know which like brush works for you this brush works for me this brush gets in my lashes it combs my um not my lashes it comb yeah my lashes it does what it's supposed to do so i know that i like a brush like this that does what it's supposed to do so i'm gonna take this out because this is addictive you can get this anywhere i pick mine up at target and i'm gonna tell you guys this is gonna be a repurchase now something i'm still not wild about and maybe i feel like I feel like Too Faced does this and it's BS and I'm calling BS on this because this is the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara but it's a travel size and I feel like the travel size should do what the full size does but I'm not a fan of this brush. This These brushes, it packs so much product on here which you guys can see. It's like a really thickness so you really don't really get to use the mascara the way it's supposed to it clumps it does just mm. so i don't have the patience for that i don't know about you guys i like to have a really good makeup look when i'm on when i'm at work on camera so yeah i just didn't have the patience <laughs> so i'm replacing that mascara with the those mascaras with the covergirl fresh clean fresh mascara i got this in an influencer box they actually sent it to me for review and that's what the curve looks like we gonna see how i like this because if it don't work i'm gonna tell y'all all right, so we still have some other good products in here. This is the House uh, Laboratories Eyeliner. This has been really good. This is from... Uh, she sung at the inauguration. I don't even... Uh, Lady Gaga. This is her line. Um, What else is in here? Some typical liners, brow liners, things that are staples in here. You guys, I have not been using a color corrector. Like, I don't remember when the last time I used a color corrector, but these foundations and concealers have gotten to the point I really don't need to use a color corrector. I still keep this in here just if I feel like I need to add something. But shout out to Brit's Makeup Diary because she's homegirl been keeping my face on point with my facials. But my my skin is clear. I do have some dark spots, but I don't feel like I need to use a color corrector as much. And if I don't need it in my staple makeup routine i'm just not gonna have it but i do keep it in here a concealer girl i have loved the fenty concealer i would repurchase this again like this is bomb.com i'm in the shade 450 i'm in the same shade across the board and all her foundations but this is hella hella good like girl full coverage sets no issues i could wear this with just concealer mascara brows and be looking snatched honey so yeah this is good 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 i am actually really excited about the makeup that i chose for the month of march i fell in love with some stuff so a concealer that i haven't tried and shout out to all accessories the life i think she asked me to go ahead and do a show like my face with um highlighted so a lighter concealer under my eyes and i picked up the rare beauty one in 480w i made a rare beauty haul last fall when they first when they came out and this is one of the lighter um concealers so shout out to you because i did pull this out now eye primers when we go over here I'm jumping ahead, girl. 
y'all already know the milk hydro blur is a staple in my collection i love it um i have been using just one pump of this all over my face and girl still good the fenty beauty eye primer i still say a dupe to this is the ulta ultra matte eye primer beauty essentials got me on the ulta eyeshadow primer and then fenty obviously came out with theirs i still like the fenty i haven't had any issues with it i've used it with bright colors it enhances my eye looks and everything so this is really good this is still a staple fenty been doing a damn thing now something i don't like <laughs> Ugh, I don't know what's going on with Anastasia. This was actually a 100 point perk. This is the Anastasia eye primer. Girl, I don't know who said that this worked, but it don't work for me. Like, I would give it, I would give it to somebody that has a lighter complexion. But for me and my eyes and my skin and how it blends out, it just doesn't work. It didn't really wow me. Like, if I had to compare the two, you would think because it has the same consistency that it would even out. But no, this eye primer is, it's just, eh. Like, I'm going to put it in my empties. It has no point of holding. Now, something that I am going to try out because I've heard so many people talk about this. This is the P. Louise base. I have shades four and five. Let me show you guys what four looks like. And if you're wondering, yes, I did redo the vent, the makeup area. So now, while I'm pulling that out, now my everyday drawer is actually at the top and my skincare everyday drawer is at the bottom. So if you guys want to see a my makeup vanity 2021 collection um makeup collection let me know in the comments and i'll get that to you guys next month but let's see this is shade four it's a more and it's a little bit lighter so i really do like that they were doing buy one get one half off so i was like i'll get two for the price of one and these are only like ten dollars but i paid seven and these are a uk brand so i'm gonna put the shade five romero in here inside my collection all right, and then if we go to primers, this is the Tatcha Silk Liquid. This is the Tatcha Silk Canvas. I use this, but then I stopped because I actually don't like this solid one. I still like the liquid one, but I'm going to use it. You know, I'm going to hit it and miss it, but it's not a favorite of mine. I am really upset because they came out with the full size, and then literally two weeks later, they came out with a travel size. And had I known that, I would have paid $20 versus like 50 something dollars for this one. So, yeah, I'm going to get my money's worth trust me i am but yeah this one it's still not a favorite of mine and i don't know why i think just because i've already tried the liquid so for primers i am going to use the fenty uh true matte uh mattifying primer i still like this stuff so i'm gonna try it out again and then for the oil control because i remember that is matte but i need oil control this is the smashbox photo finish oil and shine control i did like this like this is really really good so i'm putting these two together so my primers are pretty much good i can use these two together and i'm i'm really good like those are my ride or dies all right so i put everything out on there oh a moisturizer that i have been using you guys because i have been really going in my stash and really using up my skincare as my moisturizer every day to prep my skin this is the estee lauder day wear matte this is an oil control. I know they have a day wear and a matte wear. I picked this up when I was in Baltimore last year at an OCC for like $23. And this one's great for oily skin. So it tells you right there. But this is what it looks like. So if you're at a CCO or um, one of those outlet malls, definitely you see if they have this and pick it up. Especially if you have oily skin. This has been really, really good. It has not buzzed or messed up any of my makeup. So this has been my go-to for everyday moisturizers. Now, girl, let's go over here to so the blushes. <laughs> these Sephora blushes, I'm I'm already going to tell y'all now. I'm taking these with me when I go travel. Um, let's see. I have the shade Empower right here. And then I have the shade Dare right here. These are good. Like, for somebody, if I would gift these to somebody who was not interested in makeup and just wanted something like an all-in-one or a businesswoman I was traveling, these are really, really good. So I still like these. I don't know if they still sell these, but if they do, I'll link them down below. Now, something I didn't touch, and I'm not going to lie, I don't know what's wrong with me right now, but I'm not feeling this. This is the Makeup Revolution Patricia Bright Face Trio. This is Dust Till Dawn. I'm going to keep this in here, but this is my third or fourth month trying to keep this in here and keep saying I'm going to use it and I don't. If I don't use this, in the month of April, y'all get me. Y'all just get me, hold me accountable. But this gives you a highlighter, a bronzer, and a blush. So I'm going to try it out. I'm going to keep it in here one more time. One more time. And that's it. Now, for blushes, I'm actually going to pick up the Juvia's Place, the Sahara Blush. Two, I got rid of one. So that's what two looks like. 
So we're gonna put that in there. And for sponge, I'm just using the Real Technique sponge. So we're gonna keep that in there. Put that right there, which made that perfect room for you, baby. Um, let's see, for setting sprays, the Too Faced Hangover Setting Spray. I'm almost done with this, so I'm gonna be done with this in probably like a week or so. This has been good. I really just wanted to finish this up. I do have the primer, but I use the primer a lot during the summer um, just because it's a summer optional. But this one, I will say it has made me oily a lot, even in the uh, months last month so it says it's oil free it's alcohol free and silicone free but this just doesn't do good against my skin tone and maybe because i'm in the weather of la this one has been okay i did put this one in here because i ran out of my morphe continuous setting spray the benefits professional super setter i got it in the travel size at ulta it's cool i think once i get finish up this one then i'll be able to really assess how this one is and you guys, I have been using the heck out of this Smashbox Primer water. I told you guys, I am going to be done with this soon. I have been using this for any and everything, girl. Okay, so we need highlighters. Now, highlighters, I have a couple in here. I have three, actually. So, I'm pulling out an OG Fenty uh, Hustle, Hustler Baby. I'm probably going to end up traveling with this one too. I really do like this one. I got this one a long time ago in a travel set with the gloss. So I'm going to put that in here. Put that right there. This is the Jacqueline Hill highlighter. This is her mini highlighter. I have not shown you guys, but I did buy three of her highlighters. But So this is that one. I got a mini. This is all, sh all shuck. So we're going to try this one out and see what we think. I'm going to put it right here. Actually, I'm going to put you right here. And then you guys already know the Pat McGrath Labs. This is her, I think it was her first highlighter that she's ever done, but this is Divine Rose. I really like the iridescent look that it gave me. So I wanted to do something fun and I've been feeling color lately. So you will see my highlighter picks. Um, not my highlighter picks, my eyeshadow picks. All right, so let's go on to, I'm gonna talk about the eyeshadows that was in my um, Shop My Stash, give you guys a mini review for that. And then I'll show you guys the eyeshadows that I did pick. This was a go-to. The Natasha Denona palette. I got this one. This one is in peak. I got this one in a boxy charm. Girl, no complaints, no complaints. Loved it. Boom. Good. This one I wasn't in love with. And maybe I'm just over neutrals at the time or something. But this one did not give me the pigmentation I like. This is a Lorac Pro Soul palette. Um, I didn't pick this up after like one or two times. I wasn't really a fan of it. The quality is good. But it's... the. I don't know what happened to Lorac, but usually they really have really great shadows. Maybe I just need to try this again. I don't know if I'm going to travel with this because it is travel friendly, but honestly, it just, it was like blah to me. Um, this one, I got so many compliments on. My boss complimented me on it. I had a coworker complimenting me on it. I was loving this one. This is the Violet Voss Olive, Olive You Forever. I got this in a boxy charm. Yeah, I got this in a boxy charm, and girl, these greens, I was playing with all the greens in here and all the little shades, and this is a really, really good palette. This was really addictive. If I wanted something just pop, this gave it to me. If I wanted something soft, this gave it to me. So I really did like this palette. Now, this one was good, too. This is the Pat McGrath's Last Mothership Midnight Sun. This palette, Auntie Pat, I understand now why I spent the money to buy these palettes. Now, I wouldn't say I definitely got comments on them, but I really did like the quality of these shadows. I really did like the shades on them. I played with them. This purple, I wore it out a couple of times with friends and they loved it. So I really did like this palette. So if you don't have your hands on this one, I definitely say get it. It's a neutral day to night look palette. So I have no regrets except on the Lorac. Lorac kind of disappointed me this month. Now, you're going to be surprised because none of my palettes can fit in here. At least the ones I chose, girl. The palettes I chose, I only picked four. And to be honest, I wanted some color. I'm actually going to pick, yeah. So, four. This is the e.l.f. Truffle palette. I did, I purchased this one because this was like one of the last of the collection. It's $3. You guys know I have a lot of the e.l.f. Bite Size palettes. So, that one's going in here. And then I wanted some more color because I felt like I didn't have enough. So this is the Natasha Denona Mini Lilla palette. I won't be taking this one. I've traveled with this one before and I just wanted some colors. So I was like, I can easily create a look with this and I've done it before. Now the Juvia's Vanessa um, Times Juvia's palette. Vanessa is so beautiful 
and I want to do a look using this palette. You guys know I have been hauling my butt off with a lot of black owned businesses, which you will see in the haul video, but this one is so good. So I'm so dying to get a look on this. Like I could play with this whole palette. I'm getting excited. <laughs> um, I've been wanting to just get inspired with more color and shout out to my girl Kay. Kay and Atlanta, she's been sending me pictures of her beautiful looks and I'm like, girl, I just want to play in some color right now. So this is the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette. I'm going to use this. This is one palette that you could travel with and you can get every look that you can think of. She literally created this for neutrals down here and all your colors up here. You got your transition shades, your highlight shades. Girl, you got it all in one. I think there's a Juvia's Masquerade Mini. If there is, I'm going to pick it up because I could use it definitely, definitely if I ever go out traveling like on a plane travel. But yeah, this is that. So that's my color palette. I'm so excited. <laughs> I know you guys are like, mm. I went in and I went hard. But that is it for this video. Happy April. I hope you guys have been having a wonderful 2021. I continue to wish you guys all the best. Peace, love, what else? Blessings, everything. Thank you for all my new subscribers for joining. I've been seeing lots of new people joining this channel. I have so many videos coming out you guys soon. So stay tuned. Continue to subscribe, share, comment, like, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys soon. Stay blessed.